Welcome to Lightbringer. This tutorial video will introduce you to our game. Lightbringer is set in the lands of Asirinya, where you will be able to send your heroes on quests, trade with other players, and earn real money. Lightbringer is the first true Litecoin game. It runs completely on the Litecoin blockchain with no servers involved. That's why things work a little differently here. Create your first character by clicking the Create Character button on the character screen. You can see detailed information about the selected class. Level up a fighter, rogue, or sorcerer. Each class can be specialized to one of three advanced classes when reaching the maximum level of 30. As a sorcerer, for example, you can become a battle mage, priest, or warlock later on. An advanced class offers several advantages compared to its basic class. While basic classes gain additional benefits from their speed attribute, evolved classes gain twice the power from four attributes, and even three times the power from one. They also have a higher basic power, possess additional unique skills, and can equip a special offhand item. Choose a class, click the Create button to finish the creation, and send your new character on the first quest. Because every move is written to the blockchain, a small fee has to be paid to the miner who includes the transaction in a block. Some quests will take several blocks before they are completed, indicated by the remaining blocks below the quest name. Initially, there are three kinds of quests that are important. Shrines, experience dungeons, and missions on which you obtain gear. The type of a quest is indicated by the symbol above the quest icon. You will recognize a successfully completed quest by the yellow border around the quest state and the finished tag below the quest name. If you gained loot from a quest, the loot button will be displayed in gold. By clicking it, you can view a detailed overview of the gained loot. Click on your character and select the quest, Tent of the Bandit Leader or Cottage of the Old Witch on the map. The red circle around a quest indicates that your character is not yet strong enough to complete it successfully. You can see the opponent's power value on the left side of the quest screen. The strength of a monster is defined by its power value. Your character must be at least equal in power to beat a monster. Switch to the inventory screen. On the left side, you will find the three items you obtained from the previous quest. Drag and drop the items onto the item slot and notice that your character's power value at the bottom of the right table increases. Every monster is dedicated to an element, which has one strong and one weak counterpart. Using equipment corresponding to these elements will result in a bonus or penalty of your effective power against this monster. A monster dedicated to Holy has an advantage over opponents causing physical damage and is at a disadvantage against arcane enemies. Switch back to the quest's screen. The green circle around the mission indicates that it is now beatable. Send your character on the quest and wait until it is finished. You will obtain some new items as a reward. Repeat both quests until you find some useful equipment. To visit quests, your character needs a subscription. A subscription lasts for a certain amount of blocks that on average correspond to one month. To make your character even stronger, you'll want to upgrade their equipment. Equipment items can be upgraded with elemental stones of the type of the item's element. You can find the element in the upper left corner of the item. Elemental stones are dropped from monsters within shrines. There is a shrine for each of the eight elements. Now identify the element of the item you want to upgrade and search for the corresponding shrine. Repeat this quest to get more elemental stones. When you have collected some elemental stones, enter the inventory tab and select the equipped item you want to upgrade. Then press level up. Every upgrade increases the level of an item and the power your character will gain from it. But at level three, six, 9, and 12, the next attribute of the item will be unlocked, granting a massive boost. At level 15, the item's effect will be unlocked, which is indicated by the symbol in the upper right corner of the item. In the beginning, every item has the same effect, disarm, 
but you will encounter 16 additional effects later on. Notice that item changes will not be permanent before sending the character on a quest. Trading is sometimes more efficient than farming. In Lightbringer, every resource, character, or piece of equipment can be traded safely and without limits thanks to the power of the blockchain. In order to sell your spare armor parts, drag and drop all of them to the area in the middle of the screen to sell them in a bundle. Add a price and decide whether it should be a private or public offer. When you want to trade with a friend and decide to make a private offer, you will get a unique key that can be sent to your friend. But you can also trade with the community. When creating a public trade offer, everyone is able to buy your assets. To buy something, browse the available trade offers by filling in your requirements in the interface on the left. When you are done, hit the magnifying glass to display all fitting offers. Thanks for watching the video. You can download the game on lightbringer.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter, follow us on Medium and Twitter, or join us on Discord. If you have any questions, you can contact us by mail too.